Hey, it's Seth here. Um, I've been thinking about how we, like on Facebook and on social media and just in life in general, how we just typically want to just show people our, our good parts of our life or um, the parts of us that look pretty and, and then we adjust ourselves to, uh, to fit that. To, and then it, it gives this this false idea of what being human actually is. And I've done a lot of that. Um, and there's also so many, like, so many um, editing processes in, uh, in social media now. You could take out all your, <laughs> your physical defects and flaws and all of that. And, and it's funny, we could compare ourselves with, like, a model on, on media and think, oh, I'm supposed to look like them and all that. But they've been, they've been edited so much that they're no longer a person. And, and so I've been thinking about showing, you know, bits of myself on social media that, that aren't pretty. But then it, it can be kind of scary, you know. Like, what if somebody's going to think that I'm a horrible person or stuff like that. Anyways, so lately I've just, just been depressed. And you know how, like, you get depressed and you just, it's almost like sometimes you just, it's, getting out of bed is difficult. Um, my, my room is a mess. Let me show you. It's just really messy. It was just horrible. Just, just a mess. You see, it's, it's more like a studio than a room. Jasmine's dirty too. I'm actually not dirty, so I mean that's that's a plus. It's not ideal. Um, so, so yeah, just I go through I go through depression sometimes. I get it out just um, dealing with just the aftermath of um, yeah, not talking to my mom for a year and a half because of being trans. Uh, some days, some days it's, it's really great, you know, and I'm, I'm really thankful that I, I'm still here and that I get to be myself, and then other days I'm like, um, it, it just, it just sucks that, that I, I can't have her in my life because, you know, like a lot of people tell me, oh, she's, she's not worth it and she's, she's a bad parent even because she, um, she wouldn't be in your life. Even if you as Seth, she still would. But um, yes, comments like that just don't help <laughs> because I don't know. She's my mom, <laughs> and so it's still it's she's still important to me. And I don't know if a child ever really gets over you know losing their parent. Maybe, I hope so. I don't want to spend my whole life just um, missing her. But I, I can't, but I gotta, you know, take care of myself at the same time. Um, so I just, I get depressed about that. It's hard to explain unless you've gone through it. Oh, and all the bad advice people give. I, I hate being told um, that she'll come around. It's just really not validating. When people tell me oh, she'll come around. It's people like I. I feel like they're telling me that they just want me to to get over her. over it or something or just I don't know why it bothers me. I hope she'll come around, but I've been I've been dealing with this for about ten years. <laughs> Um, I, mean, I really hate how religion can bring division and separation and families and friends and the world. How how toxic religion can create war 
wars and separation and make us far from ourselves and all that just really sucks. So anyways, that's what I go through sometimes. And sometimes it's hard to get out of bed. And um, on top of that, I deal with people in my community wanting to kill themselves or killing themselves. And that's really tiring. It always makes me cry when I hear about a suicide in our community because depression is really serious. It's really hard to try to, to find a place to fit when you've been told every place you don't fit. And we're like relational beings. We, we, want, we want family. We want, we want um, commitment. And we want a sense of belonging in the world. And sometimes just little things of like being in my graduate school, school and um, being given a book about marriage and it it's only talks about male and female and it has strong strict gender roles it's like leaves you feeling really invisible well me I'm sure that the straight cisgender people that fit the mold are like oh this is amazing <laughs> Not everybody's like you. Some of us don't, you know, fit. Um, and I think about the privilege that I do have in this role, that I do carry, and and then the people who have less privilege. And sometimes life can just be hard, you know? Um, anyways, so I'm usually so positive and upbeat. I just wanted to do uh, a video that's not so positive and upbeat that can show you my dirty dishes that I'm having a hard time picking up. My suitcase from conference that it's been sitting there all week. It's probably not too bad. Sometimes we're just messes, and that's okay. It's okay to be a mess. I think sometimes we need to be told that. Just be a mess. You know? Fall apart. It is okay. And the thing that it's, it's, you have to fall apart in a certain way. Fall apart in a way where you don't completely fall off, you know, the bandwagon. And, but every now and then you have to kind of schedule days like this to deal with everything you're going through, days of just um, pulling the covers up over your head and dealing with uh, the hardships that, that go into um, being trans, which is a lot of beautiful things, but in society, even still today, with all our publicity, it's it's still, um, it's not a walk in the park, it's especially with how there, there's, it almost seems like it's a different kind of war going on for us, like, as we're getting more well known and 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 such, like going to the bathroom is more of a battle. Um, we see how there's lots of fights going on with if we're allowed to even use the bathroom, which is so deeply humiliating. I don't know how a lot of the, a lot of these trans people early in their transition are handling these these debates. Because back when I transitioned, it was just quiet. Bathrooms were just a quiet subject. They weren't. Our rights to go to the bathroom were not brought into public debate. And anyways, that's all I have to say for today. Bye.